And they will receive. Brett's only lost two years ago to Michigan in a 12 and 1 season in his rookie year. Rich Rodriguez, his rookie year in Ann Arbor. And it's been a little bit of a rocky start. But will things start to improve today? We're about set to find out. First time since 1959 in this series that Wisconsin is ranked and Michigan is not. He'll read back deep, and he is a threat to take it any time. Brian Wright will tee it up. And we are all set from the big house. Short kick. Gil Reith will camp under it at about the eight-yard line. Across the 25, the 30. He might go on the opening kickoff. Gil Reith into Michigan territory all the way down to the 38-yard line. I said he's a threat to take it every time. He just took it 55 yards. <laughs> That'll give this quarterback a little bit of room to breathe. Allen Everidge under center with P.J. Hill behind him on first down Wisconsin. It is Hill. Bounces off the first tackler, drives his way down to the 35-yard line. Two tight end set with Turner and Kendricks in there on a second down and seven. Hill off the right side, and he's going to have a first down all the way to the 25, just banging his way behind that big offensive line for 10 yards. Everidge under center. Almost to the red zone already. Now it's the option and the pitch to Hill. Nice job by Michigan to stretch that one out as Donovan Warren came over to make the stop. The offensive line of Wisconsin is one of the best in the nation, and the defensive line for Michigan is right there with them. Presley flushes out of that backfield. The fullback is Everidge, drops to throw, pump fakes, going to the corner, and in and out of the hands of Nick Toon. It would have been a touchdown. Three wide receiver offense for him on third down and a long eight. Michigan thinking about bringing the heat. And they will from the corner. Pass is complete. And it's going to be a loose ball picked up by Michigan. Gilreath fumbled and the Wolverines have got it. Stevie Brown. But they made challenges. I mean, everything is reviewed. I think Brett Bielema was saying, I think his knee was on the ground. I think Brett's saying it with more authority than I am, but you get the drift. Let's Here's another, another look. Take another look. Knees down. No question. No question now. If we see the other angle. We can see if the ball is still in there. I think it is. I think his knee was down the head possession of the ball. Here's a better look, I think. Take a look. Now it's his right knee. It's down right there. Yeah. It's he, down the in the ball. It, Morgan, it, Morgan Trent's the guy that's trying to rip it out of there. Boy, is that thing close. I'm going to tell you what. It, here it is uh, really up close and personal. Take a look. The knee is down. The ball is coming out. I think I would, I'm going to call this a fumble. After review, video confirms the runner's knee was down prior to the fumble. It'll be Wisconsin's ball, fourth down. Well, that's that's what instant replay the video is for, is to get it right. So they'll try to take advantage of the great kick return. That was special teams. Let's see if their special teams can get three out of it. Welch from 34, and he missed it. Wide left. What a waste for Wisconsin. Early first quarter, no score, and Michigan's got it when we come back. And the Wolverines have the ball on the first time today from their own 20-yard line. McAfee goes for a couple on their opening handoff. Four wide receiver look in the spread on second down and eight. Three and a throwback. McGuffey trying to break tackles. Wisconsin's all over it. To loss of four. Yeah. Third down and 12. Three sets in the pocket and now starts to run. Got a little bit of room. Oh, man. Ball came out. Wisconsin's got it. So we've got 
Fumbles going each way. One was reversed. This one won't be. High backfield this time. Michigan will blitz. Everage might want it all on the first play. Zips one down near the 10-yard line. Nice catch to P.J. Hill. Scottson knocking on the Michigan door, and Everage trips and goes down. He was going to try to option it down the line. Lost his footing. Or did he get tripped by, he got, he tripped he got by stepped, a guard? He got <laughs> stepped on one of those <laughs> offensive linemen. And a loss on the play. Second down and 13 now. Turner, the tight end in motion. Everage gives it off inside. Down to the 13 again is P.J. Hill. The Wisconsin 44% on the season on their third down conversion. Zach Brown has come in for P.J. Hill in the Wisconsin backfield. Everage quick drop. The slant's complete inside the five. Kyle Jefferson took a big hit. But he's got it down about two yards shy of the first down. These two guys replacing him, a, a redshirt freshman and a true freshman. Welch missed earlier from 34. This will be a 21-yard attempt. And it's up and good. Now Welch missed one, made one. 3 nothing. Wisconsin. Just a 23-yard drive and five plays because of the fumble recovery. Morgan Trent and Brandon Harrison now waiting on the kick for the Wolverines. That's Harrison from the five. Looking for a place to go, and there is nowhere to go. Let's check in with Matt Weiner in New York. Matt. How about that one? Well, I got some upsets going Whoa. on today. Man. This weekend. On first down, McGuffey, and he's dropped for a loss again. Well, second down and 12. They put themselves in long yardage situations on their first couple of snaps of this football game. This is their second series. You're just joining us. Great play action. He's going to run with it. Cuts back to the middle of the field. Finds some room. He's got a first down. He's a pretty good runner, even though he's a big fella, 6'6", 230. But he moves pretty well. Uh, rather, all three wide receivers split to the right side. And this one, McGuffey gets nothing. That's a lot. <laughs> Don't get back to the line of scrimmage. <laughs> that's a good play. That's a good play. And here, they're not going to get there either. They're going the wrong direction right now. This defensive line, they're beating the offensive line to the backfield. You know that percentage isn't getting any better, guys. Four of seven snaps today going the wrong way. Three to throw. Deep middle. Overshot and almost into the hands of Shane Carter. And I told you earlier, Carter, one of the top interception guys, in fact, led the Big Ten a year ago, and he probably should have had that one. Got a guy right on the center, but he got it back. Mesco laid it way up in the air. Fair catch taken by Gilreath. DJ Hills bounces off one guy and then gets leveled. Let's go to a golden guy with our golden girl. Here's Stacy. It's hard to say. I mean, doing SNL, going to the VMAs, um, just being able to meet a bunch of people and hang out and just relax. I mean, that's, that's, I mean I've been able to do so much, but it's hard to say one thing. Now, you've probably met some interesting people along the way. Name the most interesting person that you've bumped into. It's the, it's the place that's amazing. Um, now, being able to have the experiences and the moments that I've had here uh, will be with me forever, and, and, and I'll, I'll cherish everything that I've gotten out of it. Well, I'm sure you can take a few more days off. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Brad, back up to you. The greatest Olympian ever. A lot of gold. He was down in Atlanta the other day talking to the Boys and Girls Club. So he, he doesn't even talk about some of the charitable stuff he's doing. He's just uh, out there not swimming right now. First down at 43. P.J. Hill almost broke it. Somebody got a hand on him. Here's P.J. again off that right side. The massive humanity over there on that side. And can see if they can earn a yard. Third and one. Uh-uh. Not that time. I go again. Obeize got him there to make the stop. And now they come up under center. The punter. And Michigan jumps across the line. It might have worked. <laughs> no. Oh, mercy. You've got to hold on to yourself down there in that situation. Ethan. Great coach. 
You see how the guys were not, they, they went down. They were first at a, at a two point stance. The offensive line went down, and then he probably barked out some signals. We got him to jump. I was going to say, Norman must have had a pretty good cadence because everybody was coming. And now Wisconsin with a first down. Everidge, deep throw to the corner. Gilreath in and out of his hands. Nice coverage back there defensively by Stevie Brown. So watch out, Georgia, tonight. Yep. A few other people. Penn State, watch out. You'll see those games either on ESPN or ABC, the two I just mentioned tonight's. Everidge trying to get it to P.J. Hill. And there came a nice rush. Tim Jamison, I told you, he'll be around the quarterback today, either as a sack master or, in that case, breaking up the pass. Tenth play of this Wisconsin drive. They're going to have to earn this one. Third down and ten. Draw play to Hill. Cuts outside, back inside, and got to the 25 where it should give Welch a decent shot at a field goal. 42-yard field goal attempt this time by Philip Welch. One for two on the day. Kick on the way. This one is perfect. Well, this may not move Southern Cal out of the top ten. No. I think it will. Mr. Greasy <laughs> disagrees. We have a small... Well, anyway, somebody's buying dinner next week. to kick Brandon Harrison Morgan Trent's again back deep Harrison from about the four they just haven't had any good kick returners and what Rich Rodriguez told us yesterday he said I just want to put guys that I know can catch it back there then we'll worry about trying to get some decent kick return yardage well they're catching it but they're not getting very far with it Today, four out of eight plays haven't gone anywhere. That's a frightening stat. It really is frightening when you really look at that thing. And, and you know, with the big linemen that you have today. But again, Michigan, they don't have any linemen over 300 pounds. First down. Here's the end around. Odoms. It's another negative play. Odoms are trying to get the ball in his hands. And, but he'll have them in gear eventually here. Third down. A second down at 13, rather. Here's McGuffey. Trying to find an opening and out to about the 18-yard line. One of the things that some of the Michigan faithful were a little concerned about in that comment is when he said Michigan football will be back. And they have to teach all this new blocking to the offensive line and the new skills to the wide receiver. He doesn't have a quarterback that fits his style of play right now. Here's Threet pressured again and hit as he throws. Flag goes down. I think there's going to be a holding call on top of an incomplete pass. And Wisconsin would... Decline that penalty and force the punt. I'm sure that's what's going to happen. It is holding on Michigan as the first quarter is coming to a close with a flag on the field. Number 74, offense. That penalty is declined. Fourth down. That's the end of the first period. Mesco to punt inside his own 10. The sidewinder. Bounces down. Gilreath is going to pick it up. And they blow it dead before he ever got going. So Wisconsin will have it again. Good shape offensively. You have the worst <laughs> Southern accent I've ever heard in my life. Five. First down. Everidge running to the edge, throwing, and it's intercepted. Michigan on the deflection. Charles Stewart has got the pick. This is running ability, average I'm talking about. And there's the deflection and the interception. And Paul Chris really is at a loss for words on why Everidge has not run the ball more effectively. He only had four yards on three carries, and I, I'm, I'm with Paul. He should have taken off on that one. Well, anytime a quarterback is out there and is a man open, he wants to throw the football. Here's three now with Michigan having it back. And he keeps the ball, and he goes down right at the line of scrimmage. So we're getting to that point where I don't know how many more times we can say that Michigan's either got no yardage or negative yardage, and in this case, they got back to the line of scrimmage. This system, to, to, put, to put in these, these, uh, this offensive system that Michigan's trying to put in, it's going to take some time. Three throws high and incomplete. So both quarterbacks, that one intended for Junior Hemingway. Either you step back and start throwing the ball or just 
completely forget about the throwing the ball and run it, but they've got to establish something. Third and long draw play. Oh, what a hit put on by Jonathan Casillas. Those linebackers of Wisconsin can really run, and then when they meet you, they can hit you. There's nobody to block him. Did you see him hit McGuffey, the freshman? Oh, man. <laughs> That's a welcome to the Big Ten hit. Oh, yes. Mesco to punt again. Hill Reef. Michigan will down it at about the 20 yard line, maybe the 21. On the 21 yard line for Wisconsin, they lead 6 0 on a couple of Philip Welch field goals. And Wisconsin moves early. Vanden Heuvel got that 324 pounds going a little bit too quickly. So it'll be first down and 15. We know Michigan is hanging their hat on that for right now until they can get things in gear. They're just one play away from leading. Everidge, quick slants, caught. And Kyle Jefferson took a big hit. Glad I'm not an alumni of this school. <laughs> play action, Everidge, bootlegs, throws, completes it to Turner, the tight end, and he turns it upfield. Takes a couple of Wolverines with him. It's the biggest play of the day for the Badgers. Pick up a 21. Look at the blocking downfield. That is just an outstanding play. And you know Travis Beckham be the first guy to tell him, nice job, Mickey. Yeah. He's had a hamstring problem. Here's an end around to Anderson, and he got collared over there on the far side by Mouton. Moving around a lot, being a military kid, really uh, learned how to uh, to just get through adversity and fight through things. And, you know, if something doesn't go right the first day, you know, you always have tomorrow. And, uh, um, you know, we're, we're all pretty blessed if you have a, a tomorrow. So um, just learn to keep fighting through things and, and, uh, and, and to persevere. He's fighting the Michigan defense right now. He's got six completions to five different guys. This time back to the ground of the 50 is Zach Brown. John Thompson made the stop right at the midfield strike. Hendricks, the tight end, split out as a wide out to the top of your screen. They're looking that way. Look out. Flags down. Everidge down. Ball loose. Michigan's got it. This is their first play in Wisconsin territory for the Wolverines. It comes by a fumble recovery. McGuffey and Brown both flanking three in the spread. The late pitch is loose. Wisconsin, do they have enough territory to get it over there? He does. They do. Javery McFadden's got it. Oh, boy, we're going to hear some boos here pretty soon. He's a thrower. He's not an option quarterback. Let's take a look and see if he recovered this ball inbounds. I Ooh, don't know. I, I don't know. think I think when he got possession of it, his elbow was on the out-of-bounds line. After review, video shows Wisconsin player did not have possession of the ball. It'll be Michigan's ball, second down. An eye backfield. And three wide receivers. McGuffey pops it in the middle and got back to about the 45-yard line. Wisconsin sneaking up there, maybe to blitz. They will. Three. In and out of the hands of his intended receiver. We thank our friends at EA Sports for helping us with our tech talk. Very nice. Punt, fair catch, called for and taken at the 10-yard line by David Gilry. How many thousand <laughs> calories did he intake over in Beijing? You remember reading that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Here's a guy that can eat a little bit, too, P.J. Hill, although he has changed his body structure a little bit in the past couple of years. Second down. A long three. P.J. met in the hole and trying to drag Wolverines with him, but he's going to be... About a yard shy, I think, of uh, the first down. John plays in there for the first time today. He's the one Paul was waiting to see. They fake it to him. Everidge in trouble. Down he goes. Big play by the Michigan defense. Mouton and Taylor are there. That looked like a busted play. There was nobody out there for him to throw the ball to. 
Dortmund's punt. Matthews on the fly at the 49. Matthews trying to get to the corner. And he lost the ball. Right in front of the Michigan bench. Who's got it? Wisconsin, the players are saying they do, and they might. They must be putting some uh, Vaseline <laughs> on that football. I was thinking Benny's Diner. I think they got some rice pudding on the ball. <laughs> it's unbelievable. We got a fumble about every fifth play. It is Wisconsin ball. Now we're going to have another review. Now every play is reviewed in college football. Michigan took a timeout. I think Rich was thinking, let's give the guys a chance to review that play. And they've reviewed it, and apparently they don't see what we saw. Yeah. And the fans don't like it either. It looked like Mickey Turner's knee was out of bounds before he recovered that fumble. But Wisconsin's got it at the 40-yard line. And that's Turner in motion. Average on the corner throwing complete. Out to about the 47 of Kyle Jefferson. Bo Pelini in his first season, hoping that the Cornhuskers can keep looking good. And a gain of maybe a yard for P.J. Hill as we check in with Matt New York. Michigan State, big win on the road. Here's Clay, John Clay in the open field. Clay at the 30, 20, stiff arms down the sideline, and he's got it first and goal. There's the guy that Paul wanted to see. You just saw him. Wisconsin first and goal. That's the Michigan end zone you're looking at at the five. P.J. Hill runs right into the back of his fullback, bounces it outside, and scores. Touchdown, Wisconsin. Wisconsin finally gets the touchdown. Welch in for the point after. And right through the middle. All right, well, we appreciate it. Best of luck to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Brad? Boy, he was one we loved being mm. around for all those years. Four years of great running by Mike Hart. And the ball is out again. Wisconsin's got it again. I, I, I'm absolutely... And this is mind-boggling. And this is from a fifth-year senior, Morgan Trent. You remember Mike Hart, the way he used to carry that ball? He tucked the point of it yep. in his, uh, his armpit, and the other hand was over the other end of the, uh, the tip of the ball. Well, you know, and, and one thing that he, when Stacy said, he only fumbled five times in his career. He fumbled five times, yes, but he only, only lost, lost three, three of them. them. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's amazing in his entire career. These guys fumbled more in the first half than he fumbled in a lifetime. T.J. Hill back in there behind Chris Presley, the fullback. And that's Turner, the tight end, in motion. Play action, average on a bootleg. Oh, did he get a big block? And he throws in and out of the hands of Lance Kendricks. And now Wisconsin trying to take advantage of yet another fumble recovery and try to get points out of it. Third down and seven. Average wants to throw at the middle on a screen, and that play was blown up from the get-go. Welch has hit a couple today and missed one. This will be from 41 yards out. The kick on the way, and he's got it. So Welch adds to the lead. Another turnover becoming points. Martavius Odoms and Avery Horn now back deep on kick returns. See how they handle things. Odoms from a yard deep. The freshman's tripped up before he could get to the 20-yard line by Chris Maragos, who's made a couple of nice plays today. At the 18-yard line, with 4.43 remaining in the half, Michigan still has two of its timeouts. Stephen Threets in the spread, rolling to his right to throw on first down. Incomplete intended for Odoms. Jonathan Casillas, another good-looking play from his outside linebacker position. Halftime report coming up in a little over four and a half minutes. On that defensive side of the ball, and they've got so many young kids for Michigan offensively. These guys are just eating them up. McGuffey is finding no running room like he had against Notre Dame. He was really the bright spot if there was one in their loss to Notre Dame a couple of weeks ago. Wisconsin, their nickel defense in there. Three wide receivers on third down and long again. Third and nine for Michigan. Three has time. Now running out of it. 
And throwing deep on the sideline, and he overshot a guy who had a step in Greg Matthews over there. They stopped. Matthews needed to keep running. Michigan, three and outs on their last four series. That's not good. Mesco hangs it up. Gilry trying to track it down on the far side of the field. And it takes a Wisconsin bounce to about the 41-yard line. Average, quick drop, and he's leveled as he let go of the ball. Obeize again from that middle linebacker position. Wow. Says Pat McGrath, our ace statistician, who was already about 20 years old by then, wasn't he in 62? <laughs> <laughs> Average on third down. Swing pass out to Hill. Made one guy miss, but not the second for the Badgers today. Came after a turnover by the Wolverines. High in the air. What a kick. That thing might never. It brought rain with it almost before it came down at the 10 yard line. Mesco's going to have to have hip replacement surgery at halftime if they keep punting as many times as they have in the first half. No gain on the play. Jonathan Casillas again made another stop on McGuffey. Second down at 10 and three. Back in the spread. Gives it off. McGuffey only got about a yard and he got hammered again. Mike Newkirk on that front four. He comes out and Miner goes in on third and long. Three sets up. Deep middle intercepted by Carter. Shane Carter with the interception. And Wisconsin's got it back. Play was dead. Number 25, unsportsmanlike conduct, threw the ball away from the official. That's a 15-yard penalty. It'll still be Wisconsin's ball, first and 10. Shane Carter with an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for throwing the ball in the opposite direction. Now sit. Now jump. Oh. He looked like he was going to go in. He didn't know whether to go in on the square end or go straight up the field. That's Back. See, when you got young guys, you know, especially true freshmen, they've only been here for like two or three months. Everage complete down to the 35-yard line. And it's David Gilry. Average with a first down to work. Throws on the run behind his intended receiver, and that is not intercepted. Stevie Brown trapped it. Hasn't been a big quarterback day. Here comes the pressure again. He got rid of it, completed it, but it's a loss. Well, maybe back to the line of scrimmage. Third down and 10. Everage. Throws the out, but it's not out far enough to the sticks. It is complete to Isaac Anderson to try to give Wisconsin a 19 to nothing lead. Philip Welch, long range, kick on the way. And it's good. Wow. Deep for Michigan. To kind of sum up our game today, that last drive, by the way, six plays, one yard, and a field goal. <laughs> Here's a bouncing ball to the 16 to Odoms. Odoms broke a tackle, trying to get it out there to the 39-yard line. And four seconds remain. But now with those two uh, press boxes on either side. Oh, boy, there's going to be some noise now. Casillas with an interception. Going the other way, trying to find a convoy. Jonathan Casillas, 30, 25, last play of the half. Can he get there? Not quite. And the quarterback had to save some more points, and I think you can hear what's in my background right now. They aren't liking it at the big house. Brett Bielema's never lost with a halftime lead, 19-0 in his short but very successful career in Madison, and he's two quarters away with a 19-0 lead of making that a perfect 20. Odoms and Horn are back deep. That's Martavius Odoms, the freshman, Short kick, and it will be Odoms from the 11. And right into a pile, and cartwheels out to about the 29-yard line. Now Michigan, offensively, from its own 29-yard line. Three. This one's complete. There's positive yardage. First down, and now the crowd's going to get into it. And it's kind of a mocking cheer. Michigan's first first down since eight minutes remained in the first quarter. One play, one first down. 
Carlos Brown flanking three in that Michigan backfield. And he'll get the call. Cut back. Lane closed on him. Three steps up in the pocket. Throws a short one. Oh, and Casillas said hello to Carlos Brown. So he did it. Old Carlos almost got this, buried. This defense is too good and too experienced to have an offense on with training wheels trying to go against them. Yep. <laughs> Speaking of training wheels, Carlos Brown just lost his mouthpiece. That's the other thing that's fallen on the ground today. Third down. He's going to get the swing pass. Good thing he found that mouthpiece. Another loss on the play. So it's another putting situation. One good play, and then three bad ones. Mesco to kick again. Long spiral. Gilry feels it at the nine. And got level at the 17. 53-yard punt. Hill. Bangs his way out for what might be a first down. Wisconsin's leaders in the first half. Average 10 out of 19, but only 91 yards. Clay with those two rushes, 146 yards, the longest play from scrimmage this year, and a five-yard touchdown that followed it. Jefferson, the leading receiver. It is second down and about two feet. They got all the big boys in there, and they give it. To rent me steer the fullback and he's still going looked like Michigan Terrence Taylor jumped in there unless he was drawn off upside number 67 defense make contact five-yard penalty still first down Terrence Taylor and you know Wisconsin likes to run here they run again for the Badgers he gets the inside handoff that looked a little funny Everett looked like he turned the wrong way, or Clay went the wrong way, but they did get the exchange. The defensive guys have to stay in their position, so they just all look over to get the sign. Wisconsin, the extra blockers in there. P.J. Hill behind his fullback, and he's got the first down with a second effort. So Wisconsin grinding it out to the 46, almost the 47-yard line with a first down. Hill again, trying to find a cutback lane, and there isn't one, not much anyway, about a yard. Stevie Brown came up along with Brandon Graham to make the stop. Six straight runs by the Badgers. Zach Brown comes in to give P.J. Hill a little breather, and he's the single setback. As Turner, the extra tight end, goes over on the left side, and Everidge rolls that way and throws an uncatchable ball. Third down and long here, though. Everidge, plenty of time, completes it, and it's a first down to Gilreath at the 40. Everidge wanted to throw it there, and now will late, and that uh, one's way, dropped. Uh, way late. Eight or nine guys up there to stop the run and just force him to throw. Hill hiding behind his lineman. I got a couple. Three wideouts all to the top of your screen. They throw the little bubble screen out there, and it gets blown up. A bubble that burst. They lost about two. <laughs> the sophomore made a nice tackle in the open field. And the punt goes all the way to the end zone. Michigan hadn't scored a point in the third quarter. They still haven't scored in this quarter yet either. 6.52 left in the third, and that ball almost intercepted by Allen Langford, intended for Greg Matthews. Brandon Miner now in with three in the Michigan backfield. The four wide receiver grouping here in the spread. Three to throw. That's a good shot to Matthews, and that's a first down. McGuffey, the freshman, back in there now. Everybody looks over. To Coach Rodriguez and David Cohn, who's also the backup quarterback, signaling in place. Quick throw out to Matthews this time. Langford stays with him and gets out to about the 38-yard line. We go out to New York. Matt Weiner, Matt. All right, Matt, thanks. Here's the throw. Oh, boy. 
Langford was thinking about the end zone, forgot to take the ball with him. McGuffey was the intended receiver. Like I said before, I don't think I could have said it any better. This is a veteran defense that is just toying with this 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 young offense of Michigan that is just trying to find its way. Third down situation again. See, there's been a lot of third and longs today for the Wolverines. Third and five here. Three down the run. He decides to keep it. He better cut back. Oh, he might have gotten there. Close. Or did he get it? He did not. They give him a good spot. He's going to have a first down. Wisconsin did this earlier in the game. Yep. And a special team situation. And now, whistles blow things dead here. I think the linesman whistled that maybe Rich Rodriguez had taken a timeout. Fourth down. Grady in a tailback. He gets the call and he gets the first down. So they went on fourth down and it paid off. Here's three rolling to his left. Pump fake once. And now incomplete. Casillas was the man covering. And bring up second down and 10 at the 47 yard line. Second down and 10. Three loads up, fires complete. Matthews held on. He caught it twice and got it to the 38 yard line. 16 yard pickup. Back to the ground now. And McGuffey gets it to about the 32-yard line. Pat Three. White's not here. Let's put it that way. That's Three's right. not a threat. Not running. Gives it off this time. Down about a yard shy is Kevin Grady, who's getting some work in there now. This is probably two down territory anyway, but it's third down and a yard. And Grady stood up, but I think he got it with his forward progress before Shaughnessy backed him up. L.A. signal first down, two. Three pumps once, wants it all. Going to the corner, in and out of the hands of Greg Matthews. Niles Brinkley was out there with him. Pretty good coverage. So second down at 10. Three in trouble, the pocket collapsing on him. Finally just gets rid of it. O'Brien Schofield was putting the heat on him again. And now back to the business at hand. Down the middle, got him. Touchdown, Michigan. Extra point. High short kick. We feel it at about the 20 by Rentmeester, the fullback. And he blasts his way. Out to the 38-yard line. Flag down. Just when they have something go right, they have something go wrong, and a personal foul takes it down to the 46-yard line of Michigan. So Wisconsin setting up shop in Wolverine territory already. Remember Garrett Graham and Travis Beckham not playing for the Badgers today. That's a big part of their offense. P.J. Hill also a big part of their offense. Gets to about the 43-yard line. Dating back to 1927. Here's Embry John, a run all the way by the quarterback. And diving, boy, did he take a hit from Will Johnson when he went airborne. So now it's Presley in there at fullback, P.J. Hill at tailback. Third down, it's the option, and it's a loose ball. Hill's trying to cover it. Everidge has to eat it way back at midfield. A great play by Jamison, number 90. Gets a piece of it. That's a huge stop. It forces a punt instead of a first down. Wisconsin, it's a punt back to Michigan. They went 80 yards last time. They'll be about 90 yards away this time. Stay at home week on ABC. They make us travel. No, not stay at home. What's that about? I don't know. From the 12. Two backs in there with three. He's looking to throw all the way. And not a good throw. Intended, I guess, for Martavius Odoms. I'm not quite sure. They have big play written all over them. They just don't have it right now. This time a year ago, they were trying to figure out who they're going to ask for the homecoming dance. Right. Three in the pocket. Now running out of the pocket. That's going to be another third and long situation. Newkirk and Shaughnessy brought him down from the defensive line spot for Wisconsin. He had two guys out on the route on the left side. He was looking left the entire way, but he had no outlet. He needs to look one place, two place, and then get rid of
500th game at Michigan Stadium under construction, as you can see there. The new skyboxes on the far side of the field, part of a big time renovation here at a building that started in 1927. And you know what? We get a little bit nervous sometimes because when we're under construction, you know, we, we have to we have to kind of worry a little bit too. So we had to get these uh, these hard hats. Our buddy Johnny Falk and, and the uh, folks at the M Den supplied. But I feel safer this one. I, I do too, especially when I see all that construction going on. We have to walk in between th and through there. That's right. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'm staying over. I'm gonna pick up a few bucks working <laughs> construction. I got a hat and everything. Here's a punt. Kind of a wobbler that's going to be going dead at about the 44 yard line. So Wisconsin at the 44 yard line. PJ Hill and maybe a pickup of two for PJs. We check in with New York. Here's John. There's been a few of those today. It just, you know, it's, it's just the offense is just kind of hit and miss you know one time it's the quarterback and next time if the quarterback puts it on the money it's the receiver dropping it. it's not one thing it's another it's it's not the way to have a good offense here's a handoff to Brown Zach Brown got into Michigan territory pickup of about five Dortmund boomed his last punt this one not quite as good fielded at the 15 yard line by Greg Matthews They need points with 13.29 to go. They need a couple of scores. Three pump fakes going deep. Got a man out there. Diving attempt incomplete. Greg Matthews laid out for it. He just couldn't quite hold it. He had him beat by about four or five yards. I think Greg probably knocked the wind out of himself when he landed on that football as he stretched out as far as he could. Greg's up and coming off this week just because he can't wrap anybody up with that big thing on his hand. Now he's got help from his friends there. Threats throwing to Matthews who just checked back in and he's got another first down. That's a nice pitch and catch. Yep. Matthews taking that ball right in his hands and turning up field. Henny is here, by the way. Chad Henny, the Dolphins are off by a week. Jake Long was supposed to be here too. Mm -hmm. I think he was going to watch his little brother play ball before he made it to the stadium. And Athrete throwing it away over into the third row. Second down at 10 from the 30. Low snap. Reed handles it, rifles it. Behind his intended receiver, who was trying to put the brakes on. Too many, an, an illegal substitution offensively. We have 12 players on the field. Player did not immediately leave, but the five yard penalty still served up. So now, Michigan's got a long ways to go here. Third down at 15 for Stephen Three. Five receivers. He takes a high snap from center again. Going deep. Double coverage. Almost caught anyway. Penalty against Wisconsin is giving Michigan a first down. Roughing the passer. It doesn't matter though. It's first down Michigan. Three. The middle is open that time. And Martavius Odoms makes the catch. One of those young guys Bob was talking about. Picks up eight. Claps those hands together and now fakes the run. Throws incomplete, intended for Odoms again. Three. Pressure from behind, but he got away and he got the first down on his own. Down to the 45 yard line. 19 to 7. Steven Three. Pump fakes once. Safety valve out here on the flat. Got it out to Brandon Miner. Miner. Got a first down for Michigan. Here comes a blitz. They hand it off inside, and there goes Brandon Miner. Miner is major. Touchdown. Extra point, LaPonte is good. 
Miner's 34 yarder for a score. And now it's 19 14. Deep kick. Gilreath watches it go over his head. Wisconsin will start at the 20 yard line. And now they need offense. Average quick slant. Tip ball intercepted by Michigan. Down the sideline is John Thompson. Touchdown! <laughs> Three rolling to his right. He's not going to get there. Let's throw it in the end zone. Wisconsin has got to find offense in Ann Arbor. Gilreath, four yards deep, is going to bring it out. Up to about the 22, and that's it. Charles Stewart made the stop. Hill, out to the 25. And that could free it up for somebody else. On second down, no gain this time for Hill. Mike Martin led the way defensively. Third and seven. Everidge flushed out of the pocket. He's not going to get enough. I don't think. Wisconsin bounce at first and then a Michigan bounce back to the 23 yard line. Hold on to your seats. It's 20 to 19 Wolverines. Getting nervous. They trail 20 to 19 shockingly to Michigan after a 19 to nothing halftime lead. Big hit put on Brandon. No, it's Threat. Threat. Try to run away from everybody. He did a smart thing there at the end by holding on to the football. You could just see the Wisconsin defensive guys trying to slap the ball loose. How quickly things can turn in a college football game. In the Wisconsin red zone again against his Paul Setta. Badger defense it has been out there too long. Kevin Grady to about the 15. And Wisconsin's only got 50 yards of offense in the second half. McCuffey breaking tackles. First and goal, Wolverines. First and goal, Wolverines. To about the three on second down and goal. You got nine guys to stop the run. Snap was bad. Three handled it at least and got back to the line of scrimmage. No matter how good and how excited and how emotional the wave is for Michigan, still the little mistakes pop up. Make sure we get three out of this possession. Mundros, the big fullback, is in there in front of McGuffey. It's third down and goal. McGuffey toward the end zone. Touchdown. The freshman caps it off. From about the 18-yard line. And out to maybe the 28-yard line. Let's check in with Stacy. At their own 29. Michigan blitzes. Everidge in trouble. He got back to the line of scrimmage and even eked about a yard out of there. Everidge throws high and incomplete. And he's headed for Theus. They're three out of 16 on their third down conversions. Everidge completes it. It's a first down to the 44 yard line of Gilry. Tell you what, he did a great job of covering up the play and the ball. That doesn't show you anything. Play stands as called. Yeah. Everidge got hammered as he threw. Zach Brown in there in the Wisconsin backfield. 
Second and ten. Play action. Everidge in trouble again. And he throws. Brown trying to make a diving catch. It's incomplete. They run by a blitz. Zach Brown has got the first down. Nice call by Paul Chris, the offensive coordinator. Everidge, quick throw, complete this time. And it's Travis Beckham. Everidge. Completes another one. Tough throw out to the 25-yard line of Isaac Anderson. We're under three minutes. Everidge. What a throw that was to Nick Toon. Wisconsin first and goal. Brown broke one tackle. Got down to the five. Pick up of a couple. Just throw it in there. Maybe he's going to get picked off. Beckham's in there again. Average. Look out. Ball's out. Who's got it? Michigan. Kevin Grady in at tailback. Gets the call. Puts his head down and spins out across the 10 yard line. McGuffey. They put him down after a short game. It's going to be third down. Wisconsin will take another timeout. Wisconsin saved their timeouts perfectly. That's one thing. If they can stop this run, and they do, it's fourth down. Now they're going to need a miracle comeback here. The very late stages of the fourth quarter to have a chance at one today. Gilreath trying to get to the punt. Oops. Dropped it out of bounds at least. Wisconsin out of timeouts. Everidge waiting too long again, and down he goes again. Brandon Graham, back-to-back -back sacks for him. Delayed blitz. The throw is out to P.J. Hill, and he's winding his way through defenders. Almost. The movement. So it's first and 15. Everidge deep, almost picked off, and caught by Kendricks. What a grab. How did he catch it? I don't know. <laughs> Time is of the essence. Wisconsin first down. Everidge rolling, throwing, and it's complete to about the 23-yard line. From the 23, Everidge. Throws it behind his intended receiver, David Gilry. Everidge looks at two receivers to the right. Looking that way and going deep, and it is caught! Touchdown, Gilry! Great throw! Oh, that was a great throw. You take chances when you have to. Here's the play of the ball game. They work on these all week. All week they work on two-point plays. Remember, Beckham's in that lineup now. Wisconsin's got to have two. Everidge looks and throws, and it's caught. Travis Beckham. There's a flag on the field. Boy, and you don't want a game decided on a penalty flag. Ineligible receiver downfield. That's a five-yard penalty. Go, go. We'll repeat the try. We'll repeat the try. Wisconsin to try to tie it up. Everidge steps up, throws high, incomplete. Here's the onside kick, and it goes out of bounds. And it didn't go 10 yards. What a heck of a comeback by the Wolverines. And all they've got to do is take a knee, and 109,000 are going to rejoice. What a game.